Hello, Stephen White, Steve Arts 89. Um, okay, so I saw an article about Madonna being snubbed for the VMAs. And I had a couple of opinions about this. Um, my first thought was that um, fans are a bit out of touch. They need to um, they need to really just accept that Madonna is no longer the number one artist. She's not the biggest selling artist. She's not she's she's not what she used to be. Now she pretty much held her own it was a contender right up until um, Rebel Heart. Um, and it's just the reality is the VMAs that 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 whole type of institution that whole thing is just is for the youth market it's for youth orientated it's basically just to get stupid teenagers to watch buy click on just anything that they put up in front of them because they're popular um, and Madonna isn't that person anymore I'm kind of glad she isn't but because um, Madonna was back in the day, you know, back back in her virgin tour days, she was, um, yeah. <laughs> it's funny to go back and watch those videos and see all the girls dressing up and all that. I was watching the the, the virgin show the other day. Um, and sadly, art doesn't count. Um, it doesn't matter if you are the best, if you have the best video, if you are the most artistic um, person, have the most... Uh, the, the, it's just about what's popular and when you bitch and whine about it um, Because you know, it's not what you want. You just seem out of touch and Just looks like a bunch of old Madonna fans complaining because she's not relevant anymore And it's not that she's not relevant, but so far as so far as Teenagers go she's not really um, to some people some some intelligent teenagers who actually will look at the whole um, industry and they know Madonna's music, yeah, she's relevant, but to the general, like, you know, teen, no, she's not. Um, and that's just a hard truth we need to acknowledge, because it doesn't diminish her in any way anyway, because, frankly, she's better off spending her time focusing on what she wants to create artistically than just trying to be the number, stay at number one, and be the most popular, um, and get all the awards. And she never, I don't think she ever really chased that anyway. So... That's a, that's a whole thing. But the other thing I was thinking, because I was sort of wanted to do a little bit of research before I watched uh, before I did my little video, because I just saw the article and I just wanted to say something. Because um, fans annoy me when they get like that, when they're like, "Our Madonna should get the awards because we," yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, and I just was looking at the VMAs because I want to see if anyone else had done any other videos. And then I saw last year remembered. Oh, Aretha. This is because of Aretha. This is Aretha's revenge. Aretha is like, she's come back from the grave and she's like, bitch, you disrespect me, you don't get no more awards. And I'm like, okay, that's what this is. Because I forgot all about that because I didn't have a YouTube channel then. And that was the first time Madonna lost me. I mean, as an Australian fan, she's lost me every time she's toured and not toured here. And I've hated her for a month or two and then the tour's over if I buy the DVD and I get over it. Um, cause you know, like, like I hate her for a while, but I always come back like some whipped puppy cause that's just the way we've been trained. Um, but I, um, I, I just couldn't deal with it. Um, I remember about this time was Madonna's 60th birthday and she was actually getting praise. She was actually getting acknowledgement and attention and appreciation and people were like, sh sh we should cherish her. Like we'd lost Michael, we'd lost Prince. Um, and she eulogized them as well, um, which didn't, didn't go well with critics as well. Um, but people actually seem to appreciate we've got this living, breathing, bitching icon and she's still relevant. She's making art. She's there. We can enjoy her. We can, we can, she can connect us to all our childhoods, our collective childhoods and, and just what she meant as an icon. People actually seem to realize that for a moment. And I was just sitting back watching all these videos and reading all these articles and feeling like, wow. People actually give a fuck about Madonna. They've actually they actually realise well, she's important. I thought that would happen after she died. It took Prince and Michael dying for people to, to appreciate her on any level. Um, and then Aretha died, and I thought, oh damn, there goes Madonna's attention. And then I thought, you fucking asshole, Aretha Franklin just died. I mean, she wasn't always my favourite singer. I like her, but she wasn't someone that I grew up with. Um, well, I kind of did, but past tense. Like she was always that old singer. 
God, nothing I'm saying sounding good here. Sorry, if there's any Reefer fans listening to this, I doubt I don't have a lot of views. I should be safe. Um, and she died, and I thought, ugh. And then you thought, you asked, how can you do that? And then um, they asked her to speak on the awards, and um, she was originally come out supposed to come out and talk about herself and her career, which shouldn't be hard because you know she's a huge narcissist. She's like the be all of narcissists and has been since the eighties. Um, and someone, and I don't know whether they did this deliberately to trap her, or whether they just weren't thinking, but someone at the last minute said to her, Oh, um, perhaps you could say something about Aretha. So she talks for five or seven minutes about herself, um, and she manages to relate it back to Aretha, and the story was basically that her whole career, which she talked about, um, happened because she was a rebellious young Midwestern white girl who sang an Aretha Franklin song and didn't give a fuck um, about how stupid she looked doing it <laughs> or something, um, which we love her for. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with Madonna at the moment. I love her, but I hate her sometimes. Um, I'm still a fan. You can be a fan and not like someone all the time, not like everything they do. So shut the fuck up, people tell me I'm not a fan because I've heard that a few times. I'm a fan, but yeah, I'm a fan. Fuck you. Um, I love her. So that happened, and of course the shit show followed it. And I'm like, you fucking idiot, Madonna. You had everyone in the palm of your hands, you're about to have an album out next year, everyone loves you, what do you do? You go up and make an asshole out of yourself. And I realised, you know what, I think she does this on purpose. I think whenever things are going good and she's getting too much love, she just makes an asshole out of herself so people hate her because she needs that to work against. She, it's like she's a massacre. She, she needs to be suffering or, or in some sort of conflict to do anything interesting. If you look at her divorces, um, the albums that came out of those, and some other experiences and what's come out of those, with the exception of Ray of Light, which is something that came out of pure joy and grace, grace and just, just having just that amazing experience of having a child and all of that. Everything else sort of came from something negative, I think. Um, which artists, that happens with artists all the time. But, yeah, so, <laughs> that's when she lost me. I was like, no, no, that you, that was so tone deaf. If you didn't know you needed to speak about her, speak about Aretha, and show some class and some modesty and some humility and make it about someone else instead of all about you, um, narcissism is a lot cuter when you're younger. Um, it gets a bit tired. So, um, as someone who's recently realised my own narcissism and trying to deal with that with actual therapy, um, I'm less in enamoured with Madonna's narcissism than I was, which is another reason to turn on her, other than her not touring Australia enough. She's toured twice in 26 years or 9 years now, I've, who cares. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, I think Aretha is having a revenge now because Madonna didn't get any awards and part of me just feels like, well, this is just the norm. She's not the number one anymore. She's not the teen, you know, the icon of the youth. Um, she's still an icon. All the people who loved her then who love her now are just as relevant. All the people like me and older fans who buy her records and still love her are just as relevant as those 12-year-old fans who love um, Billie Eilish or who, they, who, who the hell ever is the latest thing, because I don't care, because I don't follow and don't chase the latest things, because I don't care about it, because I'm older and mature, and I care about art and what matters, um, not just what's popular. Um, so yeah, that's it. So fans just need to just shut up and just, I mean, if you want to campaign for her seriously, um, and, and celebrate her seriously, then do that, but just sitting there whining about, oh, she doesn't get the awards, no, she's not going to unless she somehow can pull a share more than once. Um, I'm talking share, I believe, when her career had been dead forever and then she came back and was like the biggest number one thing ever. Unless Madonna can do that, which I don't think she can do without the support of the radio stations and the industry, and they don't really support her because um, ageism. So whether she can actually beat that, she can fight against it and create some great art and some great moments, but whether she can actually beat that with sales, I'm not sure I'd like her to. And I'm happy to watch and see if she does. But, um, yeah, so, yeah, so Aretha was spinning in her grave and she said, I know I can get back that bitch. <laughs> the next VMAs, nothing for you. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it there. Thanks for watching. Um, hopefully I didn't offend anyone. Um, if anyone's watching. Um, well, feel free to like, subscribe. Um, I have to say that. And comments. I like comments. Don't, don't get enough. Thanks. Bye.